Okay, so we've got, a, we've got two problems here, and it's asking us to do a few things with these different problems. So it says, in the following problem, identify the terms, the degree of each term, as well as the degree of the polynomial as a whole. So what we're going to do here is we're going to break down each of these. I'm going to do each of these problems separately. So we're going to have a... We're going to have a... I'm going to make a little chart here. We're going to have term... Um, the degree. So this term, the first one would be, uh, when we look at these different terms, the first one would be this one right here. So the term is negative 9x to the fourth. And what's the degree of that term? The exponent attached to that, that would be the degree right here. So the degree of that term would be 4. So the degree of that term would be 4. And now the other term, our next term, would be this one right here. So it would be negative 3x squared. And the degree of that one would be 2, because the exponent up here, it's squared. And then our last term is this one right here. So our last term is the constant term, negative 2. And the degree of that one, since there's no x term there, the degree of that one is 0. And so our last step here is we need to go ahead and take a look at these three. We have these three degrees. The polynomial is going to be the highest of those degrees. So the degree of the polynomial A is going to be 4 because that is the highest of any of the terms. Now we're going to do something similar over here with polynomial B. I'm going to move over here so we can focus on this one. Again, we're going to have a, we're going to have a term and we're going to have a, a degree. So we're going to have. And so we take a look at here. We have one, two, three, four different terms. So one, two, three, four terms here. Our first term is going to be, I'm just going to write the terms out. The first one is going to be 4ax. The second one is going to be negative 7ab. The third term is 4x to the 6th, and the last term is negative 7ax squared. So now what we need to do here is now we have two different variables. So when a term has two different variables, you end up adding the exponents to find the degree of that term. So it has a to the first power and x to the first power, so the degree of the term 4ax would be Two because each of those have an exponent of 1. Similarly, in the term ne negative 7ab, the degree of this one is also going to be 2 because those both have an exponent of 1. In this term, uh, the degree in 4x to the 6, the degree is going to be 6, which is again the highest we've seen up to this point. And then finally, 7 ax squared, the degree of this one is, since a has an exponent of 1 and x has an exponent of 2, the degree of this one, we would add those, so we have 1 plus 2, so the degree of this one would be 3. Now take a look at these three right here. We have this, we have a degree of 6, we, and then we have two terms with the degree of 2. We're going to take the highest of any of those, which is this one right here, so we know the degree of this polynomial would be 6.